After 50 years, NASA is finally unsealing one of their most valuable artifacts. Drum roll, please. Moon rocks! Yep, since 1972, that's 10 presidential administrations, folks. We finally get to lay our eyes on that precious extraterrestrial material. The last human to set foot on the moon was Eugene Cernan, who captured rocks and dust in a tube numbered 73001. Now, a half century later, 73001 is one of the last remaining unopened lunar specimens, and for a very good reason. Lunar samples have been studied since the 70s, but scientists realized that some of the technology they needed for better analysis simply didn't exist yet, so they set aside some capsules to be opened in the future. 73001 has been stored at a specialized lab at NASA's Johnson Space Center, and it's finally ready to make its big laboratory debut. But analysis wasn't the only reason it's being opened up. The decision to unseal the sample was also nudged by NASA's efforts in building a new mega rocket, the Space Launch System. That project will return to the moon later this decade, specifically the South Pole on the dark side of the moon. All of the 842 pounds of lunar samples NASA collected are from what's called the day side, close to the moon's equator. Humans have never been to the dark side of the moon. In the lunar South Pole, the sun barely rises over the horizon. It's an eerie and shadowy place. When future astronauts go back to the moon to collect samples, potentially later this decade, they'll be working in a remarkably different environment than the Apollo astronauts who roamed around the moon in bright sunlight. That's where sample 73001 comes into play. NASA wants to know what gases seep from the moon's soil, and the half-century-old sample is its best bet at figuring that out. If all goes as planned, astronauts will return with new lunar samples. And who knows, we might end up waiting another 50 years to open some of those up.